Hey everyone, what's going on? I am Rob, and uh, before I get into the movie review, I just have a couple of quick announcements. Um, On the Fence Movie Review and The Nights of Horror, uh, we'll be collabing for the foreseeable future with these Slashback Fridays, you know, just kind of teaming up and and, uh, you know, maybe I might even have a couple people on to kind of help me out with uh, some reviews. So that's a one announcement. And the second, second announcement is uh, we will, instead of every Friday, we're going to be giving the, a Slashback Friday to you once a month. And it will typically be on the last Friday of the month. So that's what we're shooting for. Uh, and in saying all that, I am Rob and this is Slashback Friday. Now, in this episode of Slashback Friday, I'm going to review a movie that came out in 2013. It is directed by James Wan, and it is The Conjuring. Now, The Conjuring is it kind of it follows this family. They just move into this new house. They you know buy this house. It's a husband and a wife, and I believe they have four or five daughters. You know, they kind of vary in age from you know young to you know the kind of older teenager but anyway so they move into this house and little things start to happen and you know they're not really sure about it and you know there's a door opening you know things moving and you know they they're kind of skeptical at first you know kind of uh, whatever's going on the kids pretty much kind of just see it and you know they tell the parents and you know the parents you know kind of are like what's going on you know kind of skeptical about it and insert uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren. Uh, now, Ed and Lorraine Warren, I believe they are... Uh, this movie is kind of based off actual events, and Ed and Lorraine Warren are real people. Um, I don't know too, too much about them, but I know that they did work for the Catholic Church, and as far as um, uh, trying to figure out, you know, debunking whether or not something is uh, haunted or possessed, or if it's just some some rusted pipes that just need to be changed but so that that um you know the family has their issues they find a way and they get in contact with the warrens uh the warrens i did i do like them as far as uh, the these characters in the movie because um one thing i do enjoy is kind of the investigation of you know kind of movies like this the investigation part of it where you know you're trying to find out what's going on is this real is this fake are these people making it up is are the kids making it up you know for attention kind of that thing and at the very kind of towards the beginning of this movie they uh you know the following the warrens and you know they aren't quick to jump onto the oh this is haunted or this is paranormal kind of thing you know they're very they're skeptical they have realistic views on things it's like oh well you know this is actually what's going on when you open this door it moves this and this is where you get this you know it's just you know uh, old pipes that make this noise and that's where you're hearing the sound from so i do like that where they come into an investigation and they're skeptical about what's going on um you know they want some hard evidence and facts to uh to kind of back up what uh you know if they're going to kind of go forward and kind of back up things as far as uh if they feel it's paranormal but so uh the you know the the family gets in contact with the warrens the warrens kind of go out there to kind of you know uh see the house and and you know that's kind of where i'm going to stop as far as just kind of details of the movie will i will i what i will say <laughs> sorry i'm getting tongue tongue tied um it's been a while since I did one of these. What I will say uh, that I really did enjoy about this movie is the scares. Now, um, I don't feel like there's any cheap scares in this movie. There's There are jump scares, but there are earned jump scares. And I feel like I've mentioned this before that I like when a movie earns its jump scare. Not just, you know, uh, you know they open a cabinet and the cereal falls and, you know, there's loud noise and that's a jump scare. I, I'm not a huge fan of that, but if a movie can build up suspense and and use music and just kind of sh you know shadows and the way the camera moves um that really gets me and that kind of hooks me in um and so i will take a jump scare but it's got to be earned for me to really enjoy it uh just in when i say music the music overall like just the, the score the way they you know the kind of they use the music obviously to to scare you but just you know kind of to to set the atmosphere and the vibe of the movie. I really did, uh, I do enjoy that. 
uh, all the actors in the movie, the act, you know, the kids. Sometimes when you have kid actors, you don't know how that's gonna go. But all the kids, from the youngest to the oldest, did a really good job. Um, you know, I feel like that there no one was overacting or underacting. I feel like everyone just kind of they nailed their their role, and that I did enjoy. Um, oh, like I said, um, I they 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 go to this house and they kind of investigate. You know, like I was saying before. Um, and that part I do like because, you know, you see them setting up stuff and, you know, we got, we got this here in case something happens here. We got this camera here and this recorder here and this microphone here. I really enjoy all that part. And they kind of do go into detail about that because Ed and Lorraine Warren, um, you know, work with the Catholic church and like do investigate all kinds of things. So they have all this equipment and that just kind of, you know, I see that I'm like, oh, that, that's really cool. Um, so that gets me hooked in, um, some negative things I will say about this movie, and not too many things. Uh, you know, I, I do enjoy this movie. There are a couple of negative things. Um, um, one thing I will say, and, and that they do, and I feel like they do this in a lot of, um, I guess, horror movies or thrillers, is you know, the kids will say something, and the adults typically will not believe. You know, something could be happening right in front of them but the adults refuse to believe that it's haunted or or something's going on it's uh the i left the door open so that's why the you know the couch slid across the room stuff like that so i'm just like really like like um that that's that's the that's the reason you're going with um so that's one thing and another thing is when stuff happens especially at night when stuff happens at night and you know, one person's walking around and all this stuff's kind of going on and making noise, but it's just them up. That, I'm just kind of like, uh, really? Like you wouldn't wake anyone up making all this noise? And um, you know, it's just, it, that's just, you know, a couple little things that that I, you know, not didn't take me out of the movie, but just some things that I would point out and be like, okay, like, you know, I, I get it. Most, most of the time in horror movies, there is someone who, something happens right in front of them and they're still like, no, I, I, uh, that's cause I dropped it there. That's how it got from the cabinet all the way to this other room. Um, so stuff like that, but overall, I really do enjoy this movie. Um, <clears throat> it's in my top 10 of horror movies. It, you know, it's up to, I would even, you know, it's closer to top five, but I really do the, enjoy the conjuring. So in my opinion, I would say definitely get off the fence and check out The Conjuring because it is, in my opinion, one of the top horror movies that has come out in the past 10 years. I feel like it's almost a perfect horror movie the way they just use um, the camera, the sound, the acting, just overall together, nothing, you don't ever feel like, like nothing is not real almost. Everything feels like it's it's there it's supposed to be there and this is what's really going on um so in saying all that um let me know what you think if you've seen the conjuring let me know what you think of it you know where does it rank on your uh you know horror list and you know what do, what do you think of it or if you got something out other kind of similar movies to it you know put them down below uh let, you know let us know what you think so if you like this video please hit that like button please subscribe to on the fence movie reviews and also the nights of horror we also have instagram and uh, on the fence movie review and the nights of horror as well and remember if you ever hear a noise in the basement just call the plumber <laughs>